There is an immediate wow factor to the Samsung Galaxy S8. Its sleek curves, smooth aluminium finish, glass front to back, all give it that elegant sci-fi feel. It wouldn't look out of place in Captain Picard's away kit or in the hand of a Death Star despot, all around poised. Only very slightly wider than the iPhone 7, smaller than the S7 Edge, the S8 is visually galaxy class. In the hand, it doesn't disappoint either. There is no disconnect between how it looks and how it feels. It's reassuringly weighty at 155 grams, that's 17 grams heavier than the iPhone 7, but that weight feels like a scale of its quality. Your hand glides over the cool, toughened Gorilla Glass 5. The near seamless finish caresses your palm. It's a little slippy, but nothing that a case won't correct. On that note, you really don't want to drop this phone. Although it's toughened, the fact that it's all glass, well, screams protect me. The Infinity display is the S8's chief feature, and basically it's the main reason for buying the phone. The 5.8 inch dual curved Super AMOLED panel of 2960 by 1440 pixel resolution is amazing. It's beautiful, mesmerizing even. Nothing on the market rivals the QHD on offer here. Its legibility and sunlight is class setting, as is its 18.59 aspect ratio with HDR10 compliance. Perfect for watching blockbusters, Netflix, and online streaming services now and into the future. The Infinity display boasts the UHD Alliance's mobile HDR premium certification, the very first device to get this. But annoyingly, you can't watch Netflix or Amazon in 4K as yet. The S8 isn't technically UHD, rather QHD+, so the quad streams just won't work. Amazon has said that it's working on a fix for this and that will be out soon. The colour space is rich, saturated and punchy. There are plenty of screen modes to choose from. AMOLED Cinema is accurate. Photo mode is basically Adobe RGB. The basic mode aims at sRGB or Rec. 709, which is the standard for most familiar device screens. Adaptive display is probably the best for day-to-day -day use as it looks at the content on the screen and adjusts to it. I cannot emphasise enough how good this screen is. Once you use it, everything else will seem flat by comparison. The S8 offers the very latest in connectivity across the board. Bluetooth 5 with a 2 megabit per second transfer rate and double the range. Gigabit LTE, Cat 16 for blazing fast download, way beyond what 4G can do. Cat 13 for upload of speeds of up to 150 megabits per second. It's got dual Wi-Fi, a USB-C port with data transfers of up to 10 gigabits per second, and an ability to output 4K video at 60 frames per second. Side sync can be installed to connect to a Mac or a PC. This will allow for easy file transfer and also the ability to control your phone from the desktop. The S8 sports a 3000 mAh battery delivering an endurance rating of 84 hours. I think that's quite good as it delivers 24 hours of talk time, 10 hours of web browsing and 14.5 hours of video playback. Across the board it delivers 4 extra hours to that of the S7 and that's with the massive screen improvements. The fast charger will rejuvenate your S8 in just under 2 hours, which I think is quite a long time, but the battery is a solid performer with lots of power modes to optimise its life. The S8 runs its version of Android 7 Nougat. It's highly customizable with lots of little features to keep you occupied. There are plenty of security options. Facial recognition, iris scanning, fingerprint lock, safe places, pin, pattern, password. It verges on the paranoid. You can resize windows, crop apps, and set them to display the way that you like. The edge panels can be useful, but I generally forget to use them. There are plenty of options with the S8. You could spend hours going through all of them. It's perfect for those kill time moments. The secure folder offered is like having a secret phone within your phone. It's basically a secure double which allows for separate accounts. You can lock it out and lead a secret life. The Game Launcher groups all your games into one location and offers many great features for those who are into that sort of thing. It declutters the app drawer. The S8 delivers an all-round standout performance. It's the best phone on the market. Nothing compares. It operates seamlessly. You can have tons of stuff open and you would never know it. It's quick, it's smooth, it's quiet. I'll add here that it's IP68 certified, making it water and dustproof, perfect for those more adventurous environments. Unbelievably, the S8 doesn't have stereo speakers. It only has a single one at the bottom of the phone. However, I have to say that the sound quality is excellent. It's loud, it's clear, and it's detailed. The S8 ships with a high quality pair of AKG headphones. These are very nice indeed. Oh, and they connect via a 3.5mm jack. 
The 12MP dual pixel camera has an f1.7 aperture, 26mm lens, face detection autofocus, optical image stabilization and an LED flash. It's the same hardware as on the S7 but the processing has been significantly updated. For an in-depth look you can watch our video on the Pro Camera by seasoned photographer David Ran. In short, this camera is excellent, it doesn't disappoint. There are plenty of modes to choose from and a great level of Pro Control is offered. All the usual suspects and settings you would find on a DSLR are here. The post-production capabilities are strong, with colorization, tonal curves and loads of filters to get that all-important Instagram snap. The camera shoots 4.3 natively, but you can go 16.9 if you want. The image quality is good with plenty of detail, dynamic range and sharpness. The HDR is okay, but there isn't much difference when enabled. The selfie camera has been updated to 8 megapixels with loads of shooting options. There are plenty of goodies to play with and you can download a dual camera add-on that allows you to shoot both cameras at the same time. Video-wise, the S8 can capture 4K at 30 frames per second, 1080p at 60 frames per second, but you will be limited to a 10-minute shoot ceiling. This isn't so great. You can shoot 2K, slow motion at HD 720, that's at 260 frames per second, and it's got a 1080p hyperlapse mode which can be a lot of fun. For mobile cinematographers out there, Filmic Pro is available for the S8, but it's not as good as the iPhone version. The EIS image stabilization is better than that on the S7, but a gimbal or tripod is an absolute must if you're trying to capture anything vaguely serious. The 2K and 1080p footage performs best out of all the settings. The quality is detailed, crisp, if not a little noisy in places. Samsung's digital assistant Bixby is a nice idea that needs room to grow. It doesn't work very well at present, so much so that it's pointless to use. Watch this space though, I'm sure. To round up, the Galaxy S8 is a true state-of-the-art handset. Its look, feel and display are beautiful. Class setting. It's packed with loads of features, it's versatile and it runs as smoothly as you could imagine. It's secure, it's compact, it's powerful. The cameras are excellent and watching film, surfing or doing just about anything on it is a real pleasure. It has a few flaws, the fingerprint scanner could be better placed, there are no stereo speakers and the video has a 10 minute shoot ceiling, but these are by no means deal breakers. On paper, it's not that much different to the S7, but the experience of using it is. And this is what the S8 is all about, experience. The Infinity display and the sheer power it fronts makes this one of the very best handsets you could hope to hold in your hand. It's a real treat, probably the best mobile experience to date. So if you want a phone that draws you in, handles whatever you throw at it with ease, or with a screen that's just a total joy to view, the S8 delivers. Thank you for watching.